Hi guys, I have a super special book for you today. Can you see this building behind me? This is the Veterans Center here in Ardmore where I live. And do you see that there's a tank? There are two tanks. One is back there and the other one is over there. And this helmet that I have on is really cool. It's really old. It's from World War I. But since I didn't fight in World War I, I'm going to take it off. The book I have for you today is H is for Honor, A Military Family Alphabet by Devin Sicilian. Give me an A for the Army and an A for Air Force 2. An A for all the armed services behind the red, white, and blue. They stand at attention, tall and proud, all impeccably dressed. An A for the American Armed Forces, an A for the world's very best. No offense, but the letter B means that you're a brat. Your brother and your sister too, and there's nothing wrong with that. Military kids are known as brats, but far from wild or bad, they serve their country in their own way, just like their mom or dad. An army, any Marine will tell you the letter C should stand for core. It takes courage and character. It takes commitment and more. From Camp Le, Le June to Pendleton, the Marine Corps stands by ready to go where they're called true to Semper Fi. D, don't you dare dally and don't be late. Stand at attention, ramrod straight. D is the drill sergeant making things rough. You'll thank him someday for being so tough. The Navy SEALs, the Green Berets, the Army Rangers, of course. Special Tactics, MEUs, and the Daring Delta Force. E is for the Elite Force. They're trained with extra care. They know too well when duty calls. Danger may be there. F. Behind each sailor, behind each soldier, someone somewhere cares. Behind each airman, coastie, and marine, someone is saying their prayers. Wherever Americans fight for freedom, they very quickly learn. F is for family, first and foremost, who wait for their return. G is just a game. It's just a game, you say. Those in the Army and Navy don't quite see it that way. The Army-Navy football game is a November celebration the, of the honor and spirit of those who choose to serve their mighty nation. H. Not everyone hears it, it's just a few, but there's no denying once you do. When your country calls, you do your part. So H is for honor in the American heart. You're visiting HQ to see the CO. You're surrounded by several officials. You're also surrounded by so many letters. That's why I's for initials. R and R, T D Y, and a night at the B Q B O Q. And when you're hungry, it's good to know an M R E will do. The letter J is just the thing to get from here to there. Here's one racing down the road, and there's another up in the air. Jeeps and jets take different routes, but both of them help prove. The military can't keep still. It's always on the move. Pucker up for letter K for a kiss of fabulous flair. Captured in a famous photo on a corner in Times Square. A happy sailor and a happy gal had learned the war was done. Their sweeping kiss captured the joy when World War II was won. Miles from home, too hot or too cold, lonely for months on end, L arrives in a big green sack. It's the letters that you send. The leaves are turning, the farm is fine, 
the puppy keeps chasing its tail, there's nothing better than getting a letter from home in the bag of mail. The letter M means military police, better known as MPs. When you live on post or on a military base, you'll need a few of these. They guard the base and keep the place as secure as it can be. When you arrive at the entrance gate, MPs are the first that you see. In. Up in the air, a fighter jet or deep down deep in a submarine. Above the ocean, beneath the sea, and everywhere in between. We're riding the tide, deep blue and green, constantly churning and wavy. On ships very small and impossibly large, our N stands for Navy. Military families tend to move across the nation, states and borders. The letter O means pack your bags for you just got your orders. Two years here, three years there, your family's on the go. Your orders mean a brand new part of the world for you to go. Our letter P will make you proud and cause a little commotion. Here's a hug and a handshake too, for P is for promotion. To move along one rank next to the next takes drive and dedication. So each and every promotion is a cause for celebration. If someone asks about your quarters, I know it may sound funny, but they'd like to know about your home, not your money. Q is for quarters, which means your house, perhaps on government land. Uncle Sam provides you with quarters, but they won't fit in your hand. Rise and shine for the letter R, heard every early every day. R is the sound of reveille, heard from miles away. We raise the flag as the bugler plays with the rising of the sun. He'll play retreat to lower the flag later when the day is done. Sometimes the job is far away. Sometimes it's for so long. Sometimes a war is being fought and we're asked to be so strong. <clears throat> S stands for sacrifice and a special American way of doing what's right for freedom's light to shine on the USA. Whether on a Coast Guard ship or in an Air Force jet or an Army tank or a Navy sub, you can certainly bet that you'll see people work together, busy as they can be, I think you'll find that teamwork suits us to a T. From army green to desert brown, from white to navy blue, our U stands for uniform, graceful, proud, and true. From a marine's dress blues to a soldier's fatigue, on this we can't agree. The uniform of the USA is a symbol of being free. V reminds us of all those who marched these paths before. Veterans are bound by the gift of service through times of peace and war. Old and young faces saluting the flag that waves in the sky above. All were willing to give their life for the country that they love. For many years, if you saw a soldier, you were looking at a he. But times have changed, and now that soldier might just be a she. So W is for women, defending our nations and lives. They're all American mothers, sisters, daughters, and wives. The letter X stands for exchange, which is where you'll want to stop. When you live on base or live on post, you'll need a place to shop. An exchange is a kind of like a department store with goods from far and near. It's a PX to some, a BX to others, depending on where you are. Y is for the reason they do the things they do. They put their lives online and they do it all for you. For you to live a life that's free and a nation proud and strong. Be glad there are those who go to work taking your dreams along. Z can stand for Zulu, 
as odd as it may sound, Zulu sometimes stands for Z. It's the other way around. Z is for Zulu, Alpha for A, and Oscar for the letter O. The military uses some special words to talk on the radio. The end. I love you guys. I hope you say thank you to a veteran today, and I hope you have a great Veterans Day. Bye-bye.